Anti-government protesters in Iran are calling for a three-day economic strike and a mass rally this week. They want to step up pressure on Iran's authorities, just as there are conflicting reports about whether the government's morality police have been disbanded. Let's bring in reporter Rebecca Collard, who's watching all the developments for us. Hi, Rebecca. Tell us what the situation is in Iran today. Uh, well, Hannah, really since this morning, we've been seeing these images of some of the main commercial streets and markets of some of Iran's uh, biggest cities, such as Tehran and Esfahan, shut. So um, uh, shop after shot, shop uh, closed with these metal shutters pulled down and what would have normally been busy uh, shopping streets actually um, um, empty. Now, again, I will say it is very difficult, of course, most of these videos are being posted on social media. And it's very difficult to know uh, what might be going in, uh, on in other parts of the country. But it seems that many people are abiding by this um, call for this three-day uh, um, economic strike uh, in response to um, uh, uh, the repression by the Iranian government. Now, this three days of strike is supposed to accumulate on Wednesday, uh, which is International Students Day, with a large protest. Now, uh, the country's president, Ibrahim Raisi, is supposed to visit Tehran University that day, uh, and there are calls for uh, large-scale protests on that day. Well, I did mention in the lead there's some confusion about Iran's morality police. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Uh, yeah, yesterday there was reports that um, the attorney general of Iran had said that Iran's morality police would be disbanded, and this was picked up by a lot of Western media outlets. Um, and, uh, you know, this was, of course, would be significant in the fact that uh, um, it was in the custody of the morality police that Masa Amini, this young Kurdish woman, died in September, and it was her death that really sparked these protests. Now, those uh, comments have essentially been retracted by the official that made them, and it seems that it's very clear that that is not something that is being discussed seriously by the Iranian government. But I think the other thing that came out of those reports yesterday and discussion around it, uh, and that it became very clear, um, Hannah, is that, uh, as I said, yes, it was her death in the in the custody of uh, morality police because she was allegedly not wearing um, her hijab properly that sparked these protests. But these protests are about so much more, Hannah. Uh, these protests are about the economic conditions, about Iranians not being able uh, to feed their families. And they're also about, uh, you know, decades of oppression by the Iranian regime and the type of governance uh, that Iranians suffer. And so uh, what we really saw yesterday in response uh, to these rumors that the Iranian um, morality police could be abandoned was, first of all, that they that right away many were saying that they were false. But second of all, that that would not have gone far enough to satisfy the protesters whose demands uh, in many cases are really the overthrow of this government. Okay, Rebecca Collard in Berlin. Thank you kindly, as always.